Hey everybody, so today's quick tip is two axis tabs. Uh, this is a fast and easy way to keep your part connected to your stock. Let's go ahead and jump in and see what they're all about. Uh, so I have some part geometry here. On one layer, I have some geometry uh, that represents my stock, and on another layer, I have the shape that I want to cut out. Now, tabs can be used in a variety of applications, uh, two, three, four, and five axis. It can be used in metalworking. It can also be used in woodworking. And again, this is where we leave material behind to keep the part connected to the stock. Uh, this is great when you got to flip the part over and work on a uh, second op. And uh, also just uh, kind of using the stock as part of the work holding. So it's a real smart thing to do. Uh, we'll get our job set up here. So I'm just going to run through the stock wizard here. Again, um, though it's not limited to, uh, actually, let me back up. Let's make this uh, a half inch of material. And uh, we're going to go ahead and set our zero in this case in the on the bottom of the part in the front corner. Even though it's, this isn't a limited to a woodworking application, if we were, were uh, using a CNC router, this would probably be a more common position you may pick. All right, so we got the job set up. Now, what I'm gonna do is run just a, a two axis rough cut, and I'm gonna just do it on this line right here. Okay, so that's where I wanna cut. Uh, I can set the direction of my cut. I'm gonna go a half inch, so I'm going all the way through and we'll choose OK. Uh, from here, we're gonna just do a, a rough routine and uh, compute, okay? So right now, if we look at this, you can see the tool is gonna come down, it's gonna run along that shape, and it's gonna come back out. If we run this through a simulation, uh, just like any standard profile, you'll see that it's gonna run this cut all the way through. Now. What we want to do is we want to leave some tabs. We want to leave some material left behind to keep uh, the part connected to the stock. Again, I'm just doing a single pass here, but uh, this should make it easier to see what's going on. All right, so how do we do that? Well, we'll come back to our feature and edit it. We're going to go to where it says tabs, okay? We're going to turn this option on, okay? Uh, right now, we're going to just leave it at a single tab. And then we'll look at the tab information here. Now we can make the tab bigger or we can make the, the tab smaller. This would be the X, Y distance. Um, if you want it to be a straight wall tab, you can leave it at 90 or you could put this at a 45, okay? Uh, let's make it a little longer here. And then the height of the tab, this is um, how much material you're leaving. So we're gonna leave this at uh, like an eighth inch, okay? So we've applied all of our settings. We're gonna go ahead and hit compute, all right? And then if we look at our tool path, you can see how it ramps up, comes over and ramps back down. This is the tab that we're talking about. Again, keeping the part connected to the stock. If we run this through a simulation and we take a look at our path. Again, you can see how the tool moves up and it leaves this material behind. So that is the basic premise of a tab. Now you may be asking, because I'm taking a single pass, will it uh, keep the tab if we are roughing in Z? Uh, the answer is yes. We can come in here and just go to our parameters. Uh, we can make it a, a multi-depth multi pass, uh, recompute, and you can see how it will rough down again leaving our tab behind now let's go ahead and add some more of them so we'll remove our geometry let's reselect uh, we'll select our chain uh, that was a shift left click we'll pick our start position and direction of cut we'll choose okay and then let's just recompute uh, here we can see the tool is just working its way around the part now i do want to add um Let's say like a, a lead here. So I'm just gonna edit this lead, right angle, okay? And we'll set that value there so you can see we get a, a right angle lead in so the tool comes down and then it moves over and then it cuts around, okay? Comes down, uh, moves over and cuts around, all right? So what we wanna do, again, is we wanna add some tabs so we keep the part connected to the stock. So we'll come back to our feature and edit. We're gonna go to tabs. We're gonna apply to this chain uh, right here. We're gonna say number of tabs is gonna be two. All right, so you can see we get two tab locations. Now, 
Uh, these tab locations may not be exactly where we want them to be. Uh, we have a couple of options. We have number of tabs. We can also say the length between tabs or what we can do is use manual tabs. In this example, I wanna use manual tabs. So I'm gonna choose edit. Uh, we'll see some points that are uh, located on the screen. I'm just gonna click on the inside to remove them. And then I just want one tab there and one tab here using my snap points. I'm gonna say, okay. Again, now I can adjust the width, the height, uh, the angle. So we're gonna make this shallow again. All right, and then we're gonna hit compute. And then what we'll see is those tabs have now been added to our two axis profile. Again, very powerful, very easy feature to use to keep your part connected to the stock. Great for woodworking, great for two axis applications, uh, and even very useful for three and four or five axis applications as well.